Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and in today's video, as you guys can tell from the title, I am reviewing another YouTuber's clothing collection. So recently, Shani Grimmond, who is a big YouTuber with over 1.6 million subscribers, she announced that she was coming out with her own clothing line with Baby Boo Fashion. And when she announced this, I received a lot of DMs requesting that I review this collection to tell you guys the truth, tell you if it's worth the money because it's very pricey, and just to tell you guys, you know, what the clothing items are really like. So as such, the day that it was released, I went on to Baby Boo Fashion and expressed ordered the item. So for those of you that don't know, Baby Boo is an Australian brand. So as I always say when I'm reviewing Aussie brands, just a disclaimer that clothing items here are more expensive. It's to do with the economy and all boring things like that. In saying that, I do think that these items are even more pricier than standard Aussie clothes are. They've just gone that little bit extra. So I'm really hoping that we have some good quality items here today. Because I mean, if it's a nice quality item, then I'm happy to pay them money you know so without further ado let's open up this big old bag of clothes and see what we think all right let's finally open the first item in this haul and it was the most expensive costing 115 australian dollars which is a lot of money it is this right here so it is this cute overall set that goes all the way down and it has a cutout on the back so that you can wear you know like a t-shirt or a crop top or something like that. So I actually really liked this. I think in the photo of Shani wearing it, it looked so stylish and gorgeous. And I'm not one to usually wear overalls, but I don't know, it kind of caught my attention and I really wanted to see what it looked like in real life. So far, the quality on this is great. It's just like a normal stretchy jean material, which is really good. So a lot of the items in this collection are very like Insta baddie Kim K inspired, which is why I'm wearing this fit today. I tried to like get in my best Insta baddie outfit that I had. So I think that this does match along with that. And I'm just very keen to try it on and see if it's worth all the money that I spent on it. So let's go put it on and see what we think. I feel like I need to take one of those Instagram pics where it's like, I'm standing in front of the car door and I do one of the like, you know, that's what I feel like in this set and I really like it. So it is obviously quite pricey, but I kind of think that if it's something you're gonna wear a lot, it's worth it because it is a nice, good quality denim that is also stretchy, which means that it fits me really well and it'll hopefully do the same for you. And it seems to be made of a pretty good quality denim, meaning that it's not gonna rip or, you know, lose its color easily. So I definitely think if it's a piece you're interested in, it might be worth spending that little bit extra, just that way you know you're gonna get a good quality item that fits well. And I honestly, really like these overalls. I wasn't too sure if I would or not just because it's not something that I personally usually wear but I literally feel like one of those Instagram baddies in this so I love this item. The next item that I bought is a two-piece and I love two pieces. I think they are my favorite items of clothing just because they are so much fun and since you can make multiple outfits out of them. So the two-piece is firstly this white crop top that looks to be very tiny. I'm a little bit concerned that it's not going to fit me. I ordered it in a size 6, which is standard size for me. I mean, this top I'm wearing is a size 6. And it's definitely quite small. So hopefully when I try it on, it'll stretch out and fit perfectly. And then to go with that white crop top, that is a long white skirt. And I think this set will be hopefully really gorgeous on as like a nice classy piece. However, it was very pricey again. It was $99.95 and that's of course Aussie dollars. Everything in this video will be in Aussie dollars. I mean, it is quite pricey for such a basic piece. However, they have double lined it, which you know, I love when things are double lined. It is my pet peeve when items are see-through. So hopefully, I mean, holding it in my hands here, it doesn't look like it'll be see-through. So maybe you just have to pay that little bit extra to get some good quality items that you'll be able to wear again and again, you know? So let's just go put it on and see what we think. And this is what the two-piece looks like on. This is the front and this is the back. And I am very happy that this top fits me. As you guys saw when I pulled it out, I was a little bit nervous that it looked so small that it wasn't gonna fit, but luckily it's a stretchy material, so it does. And I am pretty happy with this set. I was nervous as well, 
since it's white, I was worried that it was going to be see-through and that I would have paid $100 for a set that's see-through, but luckily it isn't. One negative though is that since this crop top is so small, you can't wear a bra underneath it, which is just something to keep in mind when you're purchasing it. Not personally an issue for me, but if you are bigger chested, it's just something that you want to consider. But I really love this set. I feel like Kim K, I don't know why, but whenever I see these maxi skirts, I always think of Kim K because I think she was potentially one of the first people to wear them so I am just very happy with this one and I can't wait to wear it like going out to dinners or something because if you just add like a denim jacket it'll dress down the outfit a bit and then it'll just be perfect to wear to dinner so I'm very happy with this one there's really not much more to say since it's just a more of a basic piece but it is very nice the next items I have were two pieces sold separately, but they're meant to be worn together. So I'm going to show them to you at the same time and then try them on together, you know? So firstly, I was actually really looking forward to these. And it is a pair of red or maroon is probably a better way to describe it. Tracksuit pants, as you can see here. So they're just normal, you know, red tracky pants. And they have... <laughs> <laughs> the broken Aussie really came through then with the tracky pants, but they do have a little detail here that says a baby boot on it and that's pretty cute and let's see if it's soft on the inside because you know that's what matters. Oh yes, oh that is very soft on the inside because that's what you want with items like these for them to be super soft and comfy. And to go with that, Shani's collection also had this red or maroon, I think maroon's a better way to describe it, bodysuit. So this is what it looks like and then it cuts quite deep on the back there which I think is gorgeous. And they have double lined this bodysuit which I love which means it doesn't have any risk of being see through. So I think that these two together are gonna look gorgeous on. So let's go put them on and see how they fit. I'm hoping that these look good because I've already got a few events coming up where I have planned to wear these. So hoping they look good. And this is what the set looks like on it. So this is the front and this <laughs> is the back. Now I'm just holding the side here because this bodysuit has a lot of side groove in it. Now that's what it's meant to. That's exactly what it looked like in the photo. But you know, your girl doesn't want to get demonetized. So I'm just not going to show you the sides. But I'm actually pretty happy with how this bodysuit fits. Just because Shani is a little bit more gifted in the chest area than I am. So I wasn't too sure how this top would work on me. But it actually works well. It's quite tight, which is good because it means that it's not rolling around on the side here. As for these pants, they are so so comfortable and soft and I think that this outfit looks very cute. I'm very happy with how everything fits me. Don't worry, we will be discussing the sizing with this collection at the end of this video. But for now, I love how this looks. I, again, I feel like such an insta baddie and the quality on these is pretty good. Just keep in mind that this bodysuit is exactly like the photo, so there is quite a lot of skin showing on this side, but I mean, if that's what you want, then this is a perfect for you. The next item I bought is really cute. It's like a t-shirt bodysuit type thing. And this is what it looks like. So what first caught my attention is that it is this gorgeous mauve color. I haven't really seen many items in this color, so I thought it would be great to try. And I just thought a top like this would make another casual yet still stylish outfit. So in the pics, Shani wears these with some pink tracksuit pants. They're the same, I believe, as the red ones, just in pink. But I thought this would actually look really nice with some white jeans because because that is just more my personal style. But as far as the quality of the top goes, they've again double lined it, which we stand. And they've also used that same material as the bodysuit, which it's, I think I described it as silk. It's not silk, but it's more of that like slinky-ish material. Do you know what I mean? I don't really know the name of fabrics that well. Okay, you guys, I dropped out of studying fashion at uni. But anyway, I think that it is a gorgeous top. So I'm very excited to try this top on. I really don't see there being any issues. It just looks like a nice basic top. So let's go put it on and see what we think. And this is what the top looks like on. I am very happy with this one actually I was a little bit nervous that since it is this sort of slinkyish material that the um, like lines of my bra would be really noticeable underneath this top but thankfully it isn't I am only wearing a strapless bra because I just think I'd be tempting fate with the straps they would definitely show up underneath but this is the front and this is the back one thing though is that this bodysuit does have quite a high cut I'm only just able to tuck it in underneath my jeans. So that's just something to keep in mind since in the photos of this top you can't really tell how high the cut is. So it cuts about 
here, which is just a little bit higher than standard bodysuits, but I mean, that's fine. It's just something to keep in mind if you're buying this one. And I just really love how this outfit looks. I think it looks so casual yet bougie, and I really cannot wait to wear this. I kind of think this would have been a cute Valentine's Day outfit if you would like go on somewhere casual. Just this gorgeous mauve color. So overall, I am very happy with this top, and I can't wait to wear it. And now we have the lucky last item in this video, and it is a dress. This is what it looks like. So it is this knit material dress that has the off the shoulder sleeves and it also has this cute little zipper on the front. So the quality of this dress is actually really good. I was a little bit nervous with this one because whenever there are sleeves that are on the side here, it makes me nervous I guess because I've ordered stuff off websites before where the sleeves come and they pop off. A friend of mine wore a dress like this on her 18th birthday, I mean a few years ago now, and the sleeves literally snapped off as she put it on. So I was a little concerned that that would happen with this, but as you guys can see here, they really attach the sleeves really well, which makes me very happy. It's also a very thick knit material, which I wasn't expecting, but I mean I love it. Winter is coming up in Australia because yes, before the comments start rolling in, the Southern Hemisphere has different seasons to the Northern Hemisphere. So yes, winter is rolling around. And this would just be a perfect winter dress. I mean, not when it gets really cold, obviously, but as it starts cooling down, just because it is that nice, thick knit material. So I'm very excited to try this on. I don't have any complaints at all. Looks to be very cute. So let's go put on the last item and see what we think. And this is what the Mykonos dress looks like on. I don't think I've mentioned it, but all of these clothes have some really cool names so this one's Mykonos and I think that's very cool but for a hot minute there I didn't think I was going to be able to wear Mykonos okay <laughs> it is such a tight dress that I really didn't think I was going to be able to get this zipper done up I obviously did as you can see here and it must be the um, design I guess to have a really tight dress but it's just something to keep in mind that you may want to size up on this one just that way you don't have the same panic that I did that the dress won't fit you but apart from that, it is a really nicely made dress. So this is the front and this is the back. And as I said, when I was just holding it, it is a really thick knit material that is definitely going to keep you warm. Maybe not in winter because, you know, like my whole chest is out and my legs, but maybe more in autumn. It will be a really nice staple piece. So I'm pretty happy with this one. Again, I know it's pricier, but as I said, it's a nice staple piece. So if it's something that you're going to wear a lot, I do think that it's worth it just because you are spending that little bit more, but it's a nice quality dress that's going to last you a while. So I'm very happy with this one as well. So I just went on to Instagram, onto both Shiny Grimmins and Baby Booze, just because I wanted to see, you know, other the people are saying before I wrap up this video and I didn't realize that this collection is actually receiving a fair amount of backlash firstly for the pricing which I mean I expected <laughs> um, and I personally disagree with the backlash in regards to the pricing because it is an Aussie brand which is always more expensive than other brands and also it is like you know it's a collab with a youtuber or an influencer whatever you want to say and that will put up the price and I do think that these are all really good quality items so you are really paying for what you get so I think that if there's something here that you love and it's a piece you're gonna wear a lot then it is worth the money because it's a good piece and it's gonna last you a while but the other and main reason that they are receiving backlash is because of their size exclusivity and I feel like I can't call this an honest review which is what I pride myself on on my channel making honest reviews if I don't address this so the collection only sells from a size extra small to a large, which I naively didn't notice when I was ordering because I just saw my size. But I obviously don't agree with that and I think that it's wrong. I think that time and time again we are seeing companies exclude certain groups of people and think of them as an afterthought and it's not okay. In this case, it's those who wear a size bigger than a large. In other cases, it's because of people's skin tones that they can't buy a foundation and it just continues to happen. And I think that if people don't call it out, then it will just continue to happen. So I don't agree with their collection only going to a size large because it is an issue and no one should be made to feel left out just because of their size. But yes, that is my honest opinion and review on the shiny Grimmin and baby boo collection I hope that from this baby boo will in the future make more inclusive sizes <laughs> I think that would be the best thing for them to do so 
If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I upload two videos every single week. And if you want to see more of my face or these outfits in action, then be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. My links as always are on the screen right now and also down below. And that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it and I'll see you next time. Bye!